Hi guys, in today's video we're here to help Yusuf, who has 10 million subscribers across his two YouTube channels. And Yusuf, we've been requested to make this video by a dose of fussy bra bra. Yusuf just turned 26 years old and here he's having a birthday dinner with his friends and he's about to make a big announcement. I will be practicing a vegetarian lifestyle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tonight's main event, 26-year-old Yusuf tells his friend he's going vegetarian. How will they react? Let's get ready to rumble! Well, I mean, if you really want to, like, go ham, you gotta go vegan. No! No! <laughs> yeah! Vegan! Vegan! We vegan, like this vegan, friend! Vegan, yeah! Vegan. So his friend just said, if you really want to go ham, you gotta go vegan. And we're like... Mom and Pop here are like, go yes. ham? How, ham? Vegan? Can, how does that work? Maybe like tofurkey <laughs> ham? Is it a vegan ham? I don't know. So we checked out Urban Dictionary and apparently it means hard as a mother... Mofo. Mofo, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so basically he's saying veganism is... The moral baseline. And vegetarianism is kind of like having your foot in the door. But why not open the door, walk right through it and go vegan? No! You need to have dairy and all that stuff. That's right. like saying I'm going gluten free. No! What is it? Um, you need cheese. So you can hear a friend in the background saying, you know, you need cheese, you need dairy. No you don't Yusuf, you're a 26 year old grown man, you're not a baby cow. <laughs> your milk came from your mother's breast, once you finish breastfeeding, that's, that's it. And the great thing is you can find vegan dairy products so easily these days. You've got milk and cheese and cream and ice cream, sour cream, everything you can want in the vegan version. And your body does absolutely not need one drop of milk. Milk is for a little baby calf to make it grow really, really big. It is completely toxic and unnecessary for the human body. It's been linked to various diseases like cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, other bone related diseases, and many more. So you do not need it. So use of saying that going vegan is like going gluten free. Gluten has nothing to do with veganism. Gluten is a mixture of proteins found in wheat and related grains like barley and rye. Veganism on the other hand is a way of life. It's a moral stance, it's an ethical stance against violence towards animals. It's trying to do the best you can to help people, animals and the planet. So the two are not related no, at all. But the inference is that veganism is a restrictive diet like a gluten free diet, when in actual fact all you're emitting are four things. Meat, dairy, eggs and honey. And you can have as much gluten as you like as a vegan, no problem. If you react fine to it, knock yourself out. You can enjoy burgers and pizza and bread and pasta and anything you like. I have my beliefs behind it, I have my reasoning behind it, so I don't know when I will start, I'm going to do my research. Yes, absolutely, we have always said education is key, it's crucial. You just need to watch these three documentaries, it'll take you four and a half hours and bang, you could go vegan like that. Many people do. So the first video for you to watch yourself is called Forks Over Knives, that's going to give you all the information about your health. Number two is Cowspiracy, that's about the environment. And thirdly, Earthlings, which is about the ethical side to veganism. Alternative. Alternative. What? <laughs> we become animal rights activists, and I'm all for that. You can become an animal rights activist by no, not like, being... Like humane, humane treatment of animals. We, we promote, we, we do our best to push humane treatment of animals. But are you still... I'm still gonna eat them. Oh. So this is what a lot of people would love to believe, that we can get meat, dairy and eggs in a humane way. The reality is, that just doesn't happen because all these animals, no matter how well they're treated, end their life in the same way, with a slit throat. And in fact, the more well they're treated, the more of a betrayal it is when we ultimately put a bolt gun in their head because they came to trust us and we betray that trust in the worst way possible. And the truth is that even these humane farms, free range, organic, all of these you know, buzzwords that we want to believe so strongly, the treatment of the animals is never what we ideally wish and what we're shown by the industries. We encourage you all to go to a wonderful website called humanemyth.org and read, look at the pictures yourself, do the research, see what these farms are really like. There's nothing humane about them. It's just industry's way of making us believe good things about our bad habits. And remember, it's always important to change the victim. We would never talk about humane rape, humane domestic violence, humane child molestation. So it is impossible to have humane meat, humane dairy and humane eggs because all of these three products end 
in violence. Humane slaughter is an oxymoron. It's the circle of life. He was like, the antelopes oh, yeah. eat the grass. We eat the antelopes. Okay, and then when yeah, we yeah, die, yeah. we become the grass. I understand, and I understand the oh, circle of life. It's, it's the, the circle, circle of, of life. life. <laughs> ah, the old circle of life. The truth is, we're not lions. We don't lick our balls. In reality, the only thing we circle in our life, in our hunt for meat, is the supermarket car park. Now, as idyllic as this whole circle of life argument sounds, the reality is no animal's going, dying and going back to the grass and we're eating the grass and whatever. It's just not working that way. They end up on the concrete floor of a slaughterhouse with blood and guts everywhere. And the fact is we've been conditioned by industry and society to think that we're omnivores when in fact we're actually herbivores and have no carnivorous instincts whatsoever. Otherwise, we'd all find roadkill appealing. And I understand like religious practices say you are like supposed to eat the animals, but there's people being vegetarian is there for a reason. Some people don't like the slaughtering of the animals and stuff. All right, this is the most important part of the video. Yusuf is saying some people don't like the slaughter of animals. When he's saying some people, he means himself. This is beautiful because he's opening up, he's making a connection, he's feeling very strongly about not taking another animal's life. And what most people don't know, and we didn't know ourselves when we were vegetarian, is that you cannot have dairy and eggs without killing other animals. The dairy industry, kills the male baby calves because they don't produce milk and they're deemed unprofitable to raise for beef so they slaughter them at a young age and the egg industry kills the male baby chicks because they can't produce eggs and are deemed unprofitable to raise for meat so all of these little babies are taken away from their mothers and their lives are ended it is such a cruel horrible industry and we go as far as to say that dairy and eggs are actually more violent and more cruel than the meat industry because all of these animals end up being killed for their meat anyway. Their suffering is just prolonged when they're a dairy cow or an egg laying hen. Here's the good news. You can have dairy, as we said before, in the vegan version, and you can even have a vegan egg. You don't have to miss out at all. But if you care about animals, you don't want them to be slaughtered, you don't think it's right to take another being's life, then you can't stop at vegetarian. It's as simple as that. You have to go vegan. And regarding religion, you can find anything in any book to justify and support practically anything. At the end of the day, the major religions all have at their core tenet essentially the words, you know, thou shall not kill and do unto others as you would have done unto you. They're all about love and compassion and unity. So that goes hand in hand with veganism. Personal preference, you know. Personal preference. Listen, I just, if I, you want to do it, you should do it. Exactly. So when we eat meat, dairy and eggs, essentially what we're doing is taking someone's life. And that is not a personal preference. A personal preference is something that you choose for yourself, like the color of your hair, the length of your hair, the clothes that you wear. Those things are your personal preference that don't affect anybody else. Another example of a personal preference is to drink alcohol. However, once you drink alcohol and step behind the wheel of a car, it no longer is your personal preference because you're risking taking somebody else's life. And what we need to start thinking about are these Things that we eat, these products, aren't things. They're not something. They're someone. So it's not our personal preference to take someone else's life just because it tastes good, it's convenient, you like it. That's not a personal preference. Your body, there's no protein. My body's gonna seriously get affected by others. Protein, bro. We're gonna get your protein, bro. Ah, the protein question. Where are you gonna get your protein from if you don't eat meat? Well, the answer is all whole plant foods contain protein. So as long as you eat enough calories from whole plant foods, you'll get all the protein your body requires. In fact, you can't not eat protein. The only way is to not get protein is if you're starving, if you're not eating anything. Even if you had a diet of mangoes and lettuce, you would still get enough protein so long as you ate enough calories. How are you going to feel? You're probably going to feel a lot lighter because you won't have a corpse rotting in your colon. <laughs> <laughs> also, you might even lose some weight. However, what we found when we were vegetarian is although we took out meat, we actually increased our dairy and eggs which means that after a little while we didn't feel as good as we expected to. So really it was once we took all those animal foods out of our diet that we really noticed a difference in our health. But you know, starting off with just taking out the meat is a great first step. And yes, Yusuf, you will feel an improvement in your health for sure. I will be starting it soon. So I'm glad to share that with you guys. I wanna do it this year, I'm gonna do it. So Yusuf, we're really happy that you've made this initial connection and that you don't wanna kill animals. And we know how much you love your dogs, what you need to do is to look at 
food animals the same way that you look at your dog. You would never want to hurt your dog, kill your dog. So that's how you've got to look at other food animals who can suffer to the same extent that your dogs could. And as we've said throughout this video, still consuming dairy and eggs is going to cause a huge amount of suffering pain to those animals, let alone to your health. We haven't even got into the health aspect of that. Forks over knives will cover that for you. Absolutely. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope you get the education, make the connection. If you need any more help, please come over to that vegan couples channel, drop us a message. We're more than happy to help you out with anything you need. The most important thing is someone like you has such a big channel. With 8 million subscribers, Yusef, you can spread such an important message to so many people that helps people animals and the planet so guys thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful now it's time to get this message over to Yusuf so we're gonna post his channel down below please get this message to him post it all over his social media we need to get his attention thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and remember until next time going vegan is not the most we can do it's the least we can do See you next video. Bye guys. Ole, 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 ole. Vegan, vegan. Ole, 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 ole. Vegan, vegan. We have new neighbors. This is very embarrassing. I don't know what they can hear. I completely understand their desire to convert me and other people to their cause. Okay, so I want to pick up something here. It's not our cause. It's 